Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we? It's Sunday morning in Australia. I've had requests to look at the democratic um, uh, debates uh, and of course we know that I guess elements from Joe Biden's past uh, are emerging. Um, Kamala Harris uh, was able to put him on the spot in relation to his record um, uh, in the past on working with segregationists and uh, and busing. Um, now, has he really been damaged? Certainly that, that was a brilliant uh, coup, I guess, from uh, Harris. And as a result, she took, I think, $2 million in political donations in that next day. It's kind of bizarre the way that works, isn't it? So what's happening with Biden? Um Will that have will that damage him? Uh, and then I also want to look. I've been wanting to look at Elizabeth Warren for a while. I feel she's a very strong uh, candidate, and of course we'll look at Kamala Harris as well. I know there are other uh, candidates. I want to read separately on Marianne Williamson, um, but also um, the the others that we heard from Beto O'Rourke. Uh, speaking in Spanish to everyone's astonishment. Um, I think Cory Booker was quite, looked the look on his face when Beto did that. Um, yeah, lots of, lots of uh, high points, lots of hijinks, as we call it, um, in, the, in those democratic debates. So, but first let's have a look. Uh, I won't be able to read on everybody today, but we will get, we will work through them this week. Um, all right, let's have a look. Um, let's have a look at uh, whether or not uh, Joe Biden's campaign uh, has been damaged by what occurred in that uh, Democratic debate when under, um, under I guess, Kamala Harris's point scoring um, around segregation. Has Biden been damaged? Has Biden, Joe Biden, the front runner in the campaign, has his campaign been damaged as a result of what occurred in relation to his past history on segregation? Um, has Biden, Biden's campaign been damaged? Okay, let's have a look. The Knave of Chalices. Um, I'm using Tarot of the New Vision. This is a new deck, so bear with me. Um, but it actually uh, depicts the querents um, with their backs facing us or side on. And there are things in the, in the foreground, the background, uh, extra detail that we need to know. So this is Tarot of the New, New Vision. You just need to Google it and you'll find out if you, want, if you want to follow it up where you can get it from. Okay, the um, De Knave of Cups, suggesting that this was actually an emotional, um, I guess, it was an emotional win for Harris. Uh, it actually, this page is standing and the water is about to come in if you look at the card closely. Um, so it's almost like where he had the high ground before, it's receding a little bit. Um, so that's the signifier card. It did damage him, I feel. The challenge uh, for him is the risks that he takes with the fool here. This fool is actually about, uh, you know, about to, sorry, step off the, um, step off the cliff. But in front of this fool is a volcano. So what Biden's done in the past is is is, is a risk for him uh, in this campaign. His history in the past definitely damaged him with this ten of swords here. Absolutely, absolutely damaged. And interesting because in this card, what's coming uh, forward, though, to help this person is a woman. Now, that's interesting. So Biden's been damaged, but it's suggesting that there actually will be help coming forward for him. I know his camp is his campaign manager a woman. Anyway, there's uh, damage. They're in damage control at this point in time. Okay, in the past, uh, we've had Biden actually doing quite well. Um, he's been appealing across the board uh, to people. Uh, it's almost as if, um, you know, he's he's had that popular support uh, as potentially someone who can take on Trump. And uh, his campaign's going been going reasonably well. He's had some setbacks, 
but he's been able to recover from them. Um, what's in the sky suggesting the lovers? Suggesting that he's got enough support, I feel, early in this reading to withstand this um, this setback. Yeah, I feel people are still looking at him as the King of Cups. This is somebody that, uh, you know, is, is generally seen as supportive. Uh, he's the elder of the campaign. Um, he comes across uh, to some as being quite supportive. But if you look at this card, we've got a almost like a tsunami ready to swamp this king. So um, that's interesting. That's interesting. Deals that he may have done in the past. It may not be the end here for Biden of this run of um, his past catching up with him, but let's just keep going. Right now, he's feeling a little bit isolated. He, they're taking time out to reflect, I feel, um, and work out what's gone wrong and how they can prevent this from happening again because I feel that there's more in his past uh, that's that's likely to come up. The environment around him is actually Kamala Harris. Um, this is someone who is very, very strong um, uh, with the Empress card here, uh, these uh, it's almost like uh, she's seen as liberating, uh, as a liberationist, although she was a prosecutor, which is interesting. And that's one thing that Biden said. I've been, uh, I chose to be a public defender. You, on the other hand, chose to be a prosecutor. So that what Harris has done in the past, but we'll read separately on her, may also come back to haunt. You know, it's going to be really uh, bad form if the Democrats start to waste their time uh, attacking each other and not uh, having the eye on the goal, which is to unseat Trump. Um, hopes and fears, yeah. There is some kind of um, what Biden's taken in the past, who he's taken from. Uh, this is money and, and political donations. Who's he, who he's been aligned to. Um, this is sort of the dark money that's uh, underneath, you know, politics in some way. Um, that's that, But that's also a card of fixing as well. On another level, it's working together to fix something. And I do get it quite strongly that his campaign team, he is going to be uh, having a bit of a reset. Uh, he's going to come forward... Um, quite strongly here um, again so uh, like he did before when we had the 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 women coming forward uh, not accusing him of sexual assault but accusing of inappropriateness he was able to recover from that I feel he's going to do that again um, he's probably going to come out um, after time probably uh, going on the front foot uh, focusing again on Trump and the Republicans. I feel that's what what he's going to do. But it won't be like he's done it in the past. He's 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 going to learn here. Um, unity. Okay, he could come forward. He has an opportunity because he's got reasonably a strong support or did have. Uh, he has a he may start to talk about un, unity and unity across the aisles uh, as well. Yeah. The government he's going to focus on a disunity uh, in government uh, and what he hopes to bring forward in relation to unity um the hyphen's also suggesting tradition and and uh, fitting in as well so he's going to take the high ground he's going to take he's going to have to take the high ground or he or he will get that uh, tsunami wave will come and swamp him. Um, he's still seen as the supportive, the elder, um, but yeah, um, they're going to they're going to have almost like a bit of a bit of a think now, a bit of a reflection, and they'll come forward with something new, uh, potentially the uh, the high, higher ground. Um, so what we've got here is the Knave of Pentacles, uh, suggesting there's going to be uh, what's hidden from our view on the bottom of the pack. Something again around donations here. Um, well, let's watch for that. Certainly he was wounded by Harris. Um, so let's have a look at Harris, though. As much and all as she's bringing up his past, what's going to be come out on her past as well. Politics, as they say, is a dirty game, no, regardless of whether you're um, you know which which side of the aisle you're on. It's uh, it's 
can often be about two things, who has power and who, who doesn't have power, and that's a pretty ruthless way to look at things. Okay, let's have a look at Harris. Uh, then we'll go to uh, uh, Elizabeth Warren, who seems to be above the fray, literally above the fray. Trump hammered her with uh, a racial slur, um, hammered her, her past... Um, you know, which was pretty inappropriate. Warren's a law, very well-respected law professor. Um, but, you know, as I said, politics is a dirty game. Uh, but let's go to Kamala Harris. She won some points. She's very strong in the Senate. Uh, I wouldn't like to face her when I think Barr wouldn't, doesn't like facing her. Nobody likes facing her. She is an accomplished prosecutor. She should be very proud, very clever woman. Um, she scored points uh, in, the, in that debate off, off. She took them off Joe Biden. So Kamala Harris, did she benefit, benefit from those debates? Um, Okay, did she benefit? Well, yes, she did. Uh, is she uh, going to gain support? Um, what's likely to happen for her in the future? Um, you know, is she going to win? The, is she going to be the candidate? It's a long way to go between now and then. Okay, so let's concentrate on uh, has she emerged the stronger, the stronger candidate? Is is her is her popularity likely to increase? Because of what occurred, let's. That's the question: Is Kamala Senator Harris's popularity with the majority of people likely to increase because of what what was said? So people see her as a bit of a warrior now. Okay, so the signifier card is the factions, obstacles, challenges. This is actually the infighting at the moment with the Democrats. Challenged by uh, by loss, okay, so the loss that was uh, was brought forward. In some way, there's going to be opinions around why did Harris go in so hard the way that she did? Um, and as I said, politics, about you know, about uh, power and who has or who hasn't. Uh, someone like Marianne Williamson may have benefited from taking the high ground. Uh, let's have a look. Keep going. Okay, she's not getting good cards. This is um, this is the hanged man. That's interesting. In the foundation of the reading, the king of wands in the past. Yeah, she's been the author. You know, she's been the, the the boss. But it could also be deposing the boss as well. With the eye on the prize being to get Trump out. Uh, do people actually want um, faction fighting and? Democrats fighting each other at the expense, you know, with Trump running around with Putin in Asia, for example, and, you know, being free to do what he's doing. Um, nine of uh, nine of wands uh, as what's in the sky. So, yeah, she's, even though, you know, the press, the media are saying that she did well, even though she's taking um, donations, uh, I feel that this actually may have cost her, or if she's done it, she's done it really uh, to have a leg up. Um, she's walking things back as well. I know that later on she said there are no segregationists in the Senate now. Um, we've got justice here. Um, something has crystallised, though. The most important, uh, I think, part of all of this is the fo you know the photo uh, of her as a child when she says i was i was one of those on the bus um you know so it was a pretty big point to make and she did it in in uh in, you know as an accomplished prosecutor she knew the moment that crystallizes justice there in people's minds so Certainly, if she was battling in the past, uh, that certainly uh, gave her a leg up. But I'm still pulling these Ten of Wands cards, suggesting uh, in the current position, to, suggesting she's struggling a little bit. The Six of Swords, um, people want to move on from that. Um, uh, yeah, across the broader majority, hopes and fears. Um, this is a uh, a page, uh, you know, politically when I see pages of page of wands, I see something not being fully formed, not having that gravitar, gravitas, if you like, uh, to really pull something off. And she feels that, and I feel that's why she went for that justice element. 
mm, left out in the cold uh, with the five of pentacles um yeah having to defend herself why is she getting such bad cards and judgment people are judging her okay i did ask and we've got loss loss on the bottom okay so i don't know why uh senator harris is getting these cards these um it could be how she feels about growing up uh um uh, in 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 a white society in the past, there is an element of justice here for Harris that has that she has um, brought forward. Um, you know, yeah, it's she's a complex character. I'm not sure. You know, while the media will say she's had a win, more broadly, I'm not sure that she she will have. According to these cards, it's just those cards were not very positive. You saw them, um, and I can only read on them. So um, certainly for justice, she scored a point there for justice. Biden, she's caused Biden to take a step back and uh, re-examine his campaign. Um, she's crystallised uh, justice in a way that um, and pulled brought attention onto the white supremacist the way that uh, these the white supremacists have have uh, well white supremacists and that's not the right word um, in the past the segregationists uh, how they've operated in 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 the past she's called attention to justice um, but I feel it's it will or has come at a cost for her yeah it'll cost her in that that mainstream um, eventually. Um, that mainstream uh, support okay okay so uh, there's already been some gaslighting of Senator Harris um, as a result of that so we're getting the gaslighting from the Republicans you will also have the Russian trolls etc coming in and amplifying that division so justice can be a, a fairly sharp sword uh, and she did wield it okay so all right, let's have a look at uh, Elizabeth Warren. Uh, seems to stay above the fray. Comes out with, you know, um, well, from where I'm sitting, I'm, this is my analytical head. She seems to, um, you know, have it pretty much together, uh, and she seems to stay above the fray. She's consistent. She's campaigning strongly. She's rising in the polls. What do we need to know about Elizabeth Ann Warren? Uh, how she. Uh, perceived after the debates I did see an interview with her and she was uh, glowing she really was on a high um, this is she has she's very very driven um, very driven to succeed and win she's an idealist as well and she's uh, really very strong in putting her values and ideals to the test and bringing them forward and wanting to see change in society Okay, so Elizabeth Ann Warren, how has she emerged? How are people seeing her after the Democratic debates? Elizabeth Ann Warren, how has she emerged? How are people seeing her after these debates? Okay, so mm, okay, so signify a card here and you saw me shuffle. Same sort of thing as Biden. Um, mm, so I don't feel people are disappointed in her, uh, but yeah has she got the enough support is is the thing that i am seeing although what she's challenged by is hope um do people feel that that she will win that she can beat trump i feel that's that's where this is coming from um or coming down to foundation of the reading is uh the empress card I do feel she's quite quite a strong candidate, as I've said. This is someone who's going to uh, open those gates and set uh, people free. She has uh, a lot of good, uh, as I said, values and ideals that are coming forward in her campaign. Um, the Empress card is the mother card, so I feel that that's the way that she is seen, uh, and that's going to be to her benefit as well i feel that her her strength will be there will be uh a, a, the female voter there will be a fairly high percentage of female voters that would get behind her she's come from a, a an isolated position in the past we saw trump's many attacks on her um she's slowly been gathering support though and she's been campaigning very carefully 
What's in the sky, uh, the Emperor card, uh, and this um, is usually my card for Trump. So we've got both the Emperor and the Empress coming forward. That's interesting. What is that meaning? So we've got the sky, we've got Trump, and, the, and then we've got the Empress as the foundation of the reading. Is that suggesting she, can, she could take on Trump? The immediate future is the Hierophant card. She's a senator. This is government. Uh, she's highly experienced. Let's. Uh, there's going to be um, more of her speaking in the Senate on something and on something quite criti critical, critically uh, important as well. She's going to take on Trump uh, in in relation to something that's that has occurred with the Congress or in the Congress. Um, Foundation of the reading is insecurity, money insecurity. So she could be talking about um, appropriation. She could come out talking about expenditure. Um, there's something around uh, around money uh, and illusion and delusion. She could come out with uh, the way that the money has been spent. This is, uh, again, uh, smoke screens um, and uh, trying to cover something up. Okay, hopes and fears, greed and avarice. Uh, she, this isn't a fear. She doesn't fear greed and avarice, but this is what she's diametrically opposed to. Um, Ace, of Ace of chalices, Ace of cups. Um, she's looking good. People are emotionally connecting to her, uh, and they're emotionally connecting to her, I think, because she's um, she's inspiring them. She's somebody with this Knight of Wands here, ready to go into battle. This is someone who's primed and ready to go forward with uh, a purpose, with a plan, uh, and it is around uh, trying to counteract loss that people are currently feeling. Um, and what's hidden from our view is the King of Swords, so I feel she's got a she's a, as I said a law professor. She's got a fairly uh, rapier uh, mind. I think she's um, very clever in that way. I feel she's going to come out uh, with something around what's going on with um, in in the government at this point in time. Uh, she could also be quite strong with the Mueller investigation as well. Of course, people are appearing in in the, in the uh, house investigations. You know, will I don't know. There's something something to do with the Mueller investigation in the Senate. What's that mean? All right. Well, we we'll watch for that. She's going to come out with some sort of information to do with finances in the future that impacts on on something that Donald Trump has done. She's going to come out and make a point fairly uh, fairly forcefully. Now, before I finish, um, I'll, I'll look at the other candidates, um, including Yang and um, uh, Bernie Sanders, um, perhaps in the next reading. But I do want to just go to Marianne Williamson. And why I want to go there is because she is the outsider. She's the uh, outside runner. Uh, I did see a post today that said, you know, I think it was from the was it the Los Angeles time, the way that she finished that debate by uh, really drawing out that Trump had dug deep into America's psyche uh, and drawn on the on fear and that she was going to meet him on the field with love. It was a very forceful statement. Now, coinciding with that um, is that around 27% of um, um, voters uh, identify as holding strong spiritual values. We're not talking about traditional Christian values. We're talking about spirituality. And, of course, Williamson is associated with that. Uh, Williams is associated with that. Um, let's have a look at Marianne. What's, uh, how she, how, you know, are we underestimating her? Are we underestimating her? Are we underestimating in the same way that Trump was underestimated? No political experience, but are we underestimating her? Underestimating her. Yeah, that spirituality, that closing statement was pretty forceful, I feel. Queen of Pentacles, yeah, you know, this is suggesting she's very, very strong here. Uh, and in this card here, she's uh, she's uh, willing to give to, to others. Um, this is someone who's 
spirituality whose values are actually going to strike a chord. Um, what's she challenged by? Uh, the Ace of Pentacles. Not enough uh, campaign donations, you know, falling behind in, in relation to others. But by golly, she's strong. We've got the strength card here and we should. this is saying we shouldn't underestimate her. What's in the background there? Um, oh, it's a troll. Okay, she's quite uh, quite good at taking on the trolls. Um, she's stepping on the snake uh, and she's uh, tamed the beast. Don't underestimate her is what that card's saying. The King of Pentacles in the past. Um, that's interesting because I did say she, a bit like uh, the outsider in terms of Donald Trump, likely to gain more of uh, more uh, followers or, or more um, support than what we actually uh, know. King of Pentacles in the past. That's interesting. Yeah, it's the money that's the, the problem for her. It's uh, not having enough um, in her campaign. They're, they're re-evaluating at this point in time in relation to finances and donations. Queen of Swords in the immediate future, she'll have something to say about Congress and the way that Congress is uh, functioning. She's also the Queen of Swords. So she, as I said, shouldn't be underestimated uh, what we should be listening to what she's saying because others are listening. All right, and we've got the King of Swords here. Um, again, King and Queen of Swords are coming up in her, in her reading. That's quite interesting. I feel that not only is uh, is she like the Queen of Swords, she's also uh, like uh, like the King as well. She's going to be campaigning. She's going to step out and campaign quite strongly now. It's almost as though it's almost uh, it's almost like the Judgment card. It's almost like she's going to actually uh, be putting people on the spot and looking at the neglect of those uh, while these, you know, while these, I guess, political and financial um, games have been played, the, the actual neglect of, uh, of people who don't have enough um, has, has, been, has been going on. Um, she's going to be expanding her campaign as well. That could be why the financial, the pinnacles have come up, come up in this reading, suggesting she's going to go on a campaign, almost donations drive, so she can actually expand her campaign and step up. The high priestess, yeah, she's got, she's got plans. She's um, trying to actualize something quite unique here with that high priestess. That's her hope. Got karma and destiny um, here as the outcome of, uh, card. Doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't surprise me. Even if she's not the candidate, she's going to achieve quite uh, a lot on the campaign trail. Knight of Swords coming forward uh, with the truth and uh, really appealing to people's emotions, people wanting new starts, um, wanting a better time. She's quite strong um, because what's hidden from our view is she is the um, almost the contrast to the abuse of power uh, that we see in uh, politics today. She's a fresh voice. Uh, she's a known voice. She's, uh, I think, reasonably well respected, but she's, she's coming forward very strongly in this reading. So look out for, um, for an increase in her campaigning. She's gathering her uh, campaign dollars at the moment. Um, and she's, yeah, she's going to come forward quite strongly. Don't underestimate her. She's very strong. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. We, of course, we've got Peter Buda, Buda Edge Edge, uh, and we've got um, Bernie Sanders. They're front runners as well. We uh, Beto, a uh, little bit of a spent force, maybe. I don't know. We'll have a look at Beto um, and Andrew Yang as well. Don't forget. Um, I can't do all of them, uh, so I'll just maybe look at the top runners. Um, don't forget that the Russian trolls have been out in force 
trying to sow division with these Democratic candidates. And as a result, they've amplified polls, online polls. Be wary of online polls. They've amplified uh, online polls in the, in the favour of um, Yang and also Williamson. Interesting. I think it was those two. Um, so beware. Beware of those online polls. Uh, all, all is not uh, sometimes what what it seems now these would be maybe media polls you know which which candidate do you feel feel did well yes or no those kind those kind of polls where you just get trolls descending upon the site and skewing the results so um interesting okay well just one final question one final question around uh is trump uh worried uh, that the I mean quite a lot of media attention was devoted to the Democrats um, he didn't you know hog the limelight really did he um, he's so used to doing that because he's so uh, appalling but um, I, I'm going to ask is he still worried about Joe Biden is he, and why is Trump still worried about oh, I'm getting he's worried about Harris as well um, so that's why the attacks have started on her. Some, I think Don Jr. was going to retweet that she wasn't an African-American. Uh, she was a Jamaican or something like that. And he deleted that tweet. So the attacks have started on Senator Harris. But who's he worried about? Is he worried? Who's he worried about? Who's he worried about? I feel it's a female. Okay. Who's he worried about? Is it Kamala Harris? Let's have a look. Is Trump worried about Senator Harris? Trump worried about Senator Harris. Oh, yeah, it's because she's a prosecutor. All right, let's have a look. Ace of Pentacles, money uh, money being given. This this comes up when I look at the Republicans' campaign to no, donations, etc. Uh, challenged by uh, new beginnings, this fool is about to walk into a volcano. Uh, there's something around money here. Um, as a senator, she, he's worried about her also as a senator. I'm not sure what sort of briefings uh, she gets. House Judiciary Committee, is she on that as well? Um, illusions and delusions, they're trying to put that out in relation to Senator Harris. Um, yeah, victory. He's, he's worried about victory in 2020. Um, oh, yeah, the world endings and beginnings. Ah, oh, yeah, Queen of Swords, here she is. She sometimes comes forward as the Queen of Pentacles. He's worried about her and he's worried about her in the Senate and her cross-examination. Um, he's re-evaluating also as a result of this. The, the fact that she drew two, two million donations um, in overnight uh, just based on her performance in the debate. So he's, uh, that's, everything is money to Trump. That's his yardstick. Right, Knave, Knave of Wands, suggesting that uh, this gaslighting, because her cards were so poor uh, in, the, in the reading, uh, expect the trolling and the gaslighting to ramp up um, Queen of Pentacles hopes and fears, Queen of Pentacles donations, security, stability, her appeal with the um, African-American vote. Okay, that's what he's, fe he's fearing, and the Ace of Swords. I feel, though, that she's got this rapier-like um, uh, quality about her. Uh, she's extremely strong as a prosecutor. He's actually worried about some sort of truth uh, emerging, and it is tied to her position in the Senate. He's very insecure with the Four of Pentacles here, um, and Destiny and Karma. Okay, so um, and what's... Uh, what is um, hidden from view is uh, the Four of Cups disappoint, disappoint, disappointment. He, he, even though uh, Senator Harris is not the front runner, he fears that she might be. Uh, whether that's well founded or not is another thing. But I'm actually uh, getting he also fears her in the Senate uh, and potentially any sort of uh, cross examination that she might she might do, uh, any kind of truth that she might be digging around in. I wonder why. I wonder why that's there. Now, 
That's interesting because she did lodge that complaint uh, around Bill Barr. He's worried more about, yes, he's worried about her um, influencing uh, or influence with um, uh, the uh, African-American vote, but he's also worried about her in the Senate. Now, she, as I said, did put that, ask for that investigation of William Barr. We're likely to hear about that in the future, that she's going to come forward with something like that. I think that's her in her strategy. Will Kamala Harris uh, come forward with some uh, truth because we've got the sword of justice there and that could be why she's also going to be gaslighted in the way that she's going to be, uh, I feel. Um, is she... Is she she got something on Trump. Is there something that she's working on, digging around in relation to an investigation? I'm hearing yes. Senator Harris, has she got something on Trump? Whoa, I'm getting a big chill on that one. Senator Harris got something on Trump, investigating uh, perhaps her staff uh, in relation to information she's uh, received in as part of the Judiciary Committee could be uh, could be the bar complaint there uh, what's going on is is uh, is she going to come out with something now on Trump some sort of investigation work she's been doing or driving forward um, she come what, what's what's that sword of ace of swords all about is Trump fearing her because of that I'm feeling he is. Okay, the swords, the two of swords. Um, yeah, okay, this is some kind of decision that's been made, Some kind, someone being compromised. Okay, yeah, strength, absolutely. Um, this is the troll hunter as well. She's able to slay that troll. Uh, justice, woo, yeah. yeah he, fe he fears her because of that. And we've got the... Um, Four of Swords, someone being uh, wounded, wounded in battle. Um, yep, yeah, magician. This is not the Republicans that, that have got the upper hand in this situation. It's Senator Harris. Expect I feel these are just my impressions. Trump actually fears her. There's something to do with justice uh, that she is either involved in or knows about um, or that she's driving forward, something that's actually going to wound Trump when it comes out. He sees her as incredibly strong. Um, he's not so much worried politically about her as worried about her as a prosecutor. Okay, let's watch for that. That was an interesting side wine there, wasn't it? All right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. We we kind of went a bit of a on a bit of a trip there, but um, I hope that it was interesting and enjoyable for you viewers. Um, and I will get to those other democratic uh, democratic candidates as well. All right, I'll leave it there, and uh, I'll be back again soon. Thank you.